All right. right. So, so let's, let's answer, answer question, question five of 2022 math paper two. Uh, so now this one is basically on construction. So now with construction, all you have to do is you simply follow instructions and then you construct that which you've been asked to construct. So they're saying construct a parallelogram ABCD in which AB is equal to 10 centimeters, AD is equal to BC, which is equal to 6.5 centimeters. So now the first line, always take it as the best line of a parallelogram. Uh, so that's line AB which is got to 10 centimeters. So now I'm going to draw the line AB which is got to 10 centimeters. So now when you're picking the dimensions always consider the zero. So from zero to 10. Okay, so make sure the line is pretty straight. So we are starting from this turn, but actually you are starting from zero. Then we draw a line which will go up to 10. Okay, so that's line AB. And this line is equal to 10 centimeters. And so after you've done that, you read on, you check what is it that they want you to, to do next. So they're saying line AD. So when you see AD, that's a line. So from A to D, and then from B to C. So these two lines are equal, line AD and BC are equal. And uh, the dimension is 6.5. So now what I'll do is this. I'll use my rule and a pair of compasses as well as a pencil to pick 6.5. So now what's dicey is picking the dimensions from the rule. So now you don't need to worry because I will show you how to pick that. So you have to start from zero and then six is here. So you have to count all those to my small demarcation so that's 6.1 6.2 6.3 and that is 6.5 so that's what 6.5 is so now for you to pick this one you have to put the you have to plug the pair of compasses here you plant it there with the sharper point and then you extend the other part up to 6.5 So 6.5 is here. Hope you're able to see that. And so that's 6.5. I've picked 6.5 from the row. So now I need to come back here and make sure that I strike the ax. So from they're saying from A to D, is it A to D? That is from A to D and then from B to C. So A to D, we don't know where D is, but we're just striking an arc. Since that is equal to, so now I'm gonna strike an arc. And remember this has to be a faint line. Then again, from B to C, it's actually 6.5. So without tempering with the dimensions, you simply strike the arc. After you've done that, you get back to this. We know it's a parallelogram that we're drawing, but we need to follow the instructions. It's very important. So now we are done with these three. We move on to that. They're saying angle B, A, D is equal to 110. So the angle that they're talking about is angle A. So you check out the letter I mean of the three letters. So that's uh, angle A. So that's 110. So now when... You're making use of this point which is on your left okay make sure that you've seen this line here it has to be in line with the base line that you've drawn then there's this line which is in the middle it has to be 
aligned with the point A. And so now after I've done that, you have to notice that there are two scales. There's this lower scale and there's an upper scale. An upper scale starts from this far end. So now when you put the protractor on your left, you need to make sure that you make use of the lower scale. So it's starting from here, that's 0, 10, 20. And uh, that angle, which is angle A, is 110. So that's 100 there. Then 110 is here. So we'll make a point there. Yeah, so this is 110. So the point there. After we've done that, we need to conjoin, we need to connect this point here with that point. Now, we are going to draw a line, okay? Now, this line will have to, we'll have to touch the, the arc that we had drawn in the first place. So, that is the boundary. Okay, so you see that? So, that's how far this line will go. Okay, so now let's move on to the next set of instructions. Then they're saying uh, angle AB, so that's angle B. Angle B is equal to 70 degrees. So now angle B will be here. So now when you put your protractor here, okay, take note of how I've aligned the protractor. This line here is actually aligned with the baseline which I drew here. And then this middle line here is actually at the point which is point B. So now the angle B is actually 70 degrees. So now when you put the protractor here, you have to make use of the upper scale. So starting from 0, 10, 20. So 70 is here. And so something I want to emphasize on, when you put the protractor on your right, you make use of the scale, which is the upper scale, starting from zero, going this side. When you put your protractor on your left, you, you start from the right. We use the lower scale. And so now, after having made this point, we need to draw a line, starting from here all the way through that point and to, to touch the arc. Beautiful. So this time around, check out, I'm using thick lines. So now this is BC, and then that is line AD. So here I'm going to indicate that's D. So now since it's a parallelogram that the one is to, to draw, I can now connect those two points. Really. Right, so take note of it. You give it a shot, see if they would actually touch the points. Okay, so I've drawn the parallelogram. So now from here, I mean, this one is actually allocated one mark. For just doing that, you're given one mark. If I move on to B, they're saying measure and write the length AC. So I can come here, that's, uh, that's B. Can indicate here to say B. Which, which line do they want us to measure? That's line SC. So we come here, we check. Where is SC? Okay, so SC is actually... This point here. And uh, that point there. Okay, so it's, a, it's the diagonal. So you have to make sure that the point at zero is actually at C or even at, 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 uh, at A. So now after measuring, what I'm finding is actually a 9.9. .9. So I will write to say SC is equal to 9.9 .9 centimeters. Okay, so now let's move on to C. Now they're saying within within the parallelogram ABCD, construct the locus of points which are three centimeters from AB. 
three centimeters from AB. And so now what it is, this is line AB. And then the locus of points are three centimeters from AB. So this is a parallel line to line AB. So now how do you construct that one? So what you do is you pick three centimeters from the row. Okay, so three centimeters. You start from zero, and then you you extend your pair of compasses to three. Okay, so that's three centimeters. Three centimeters. Now after picking these three centimeters, what I'll do is I'll come here and check out where. AC is okay so that's from AB so line AB is this one here so we'll draw the locus of points with a three centimeters away from B AB so I strike two arcs as an after I've done that what I'll do is I will draw a line touching the tips of of the arcs let me use a small pencil okay so here we go you throw, you give it a shot and see if they will actually touch the top points of the two arcs okay so now you have to make sure that whatever you construct you construct it within the parallelogram because there is an instruction saying that within the parallelogram so it shouldn't protrude the parallelogram that you are drawing so i'm done with this one so that's one mark let's move on to three they're saying six construct the locus of points which are six centimeters from c so that's point c so now you need to know that's a circle that's a circle the locus of points that are distant from a point is actually a circle so now let's check what's the dimensions the same three centimeters or six centimeters so what i'll do is i will pick six centimeters from here so from zero i extend the pair of compasses to six make sure that you're not shaky and your pair of compasses is firm enough so that's six centimeters after picking that I will come here because they're saying six centimeters from C. I will actually need to, to plug the pair of compasses on C. Okay, so now after doing that, I will need to strike an arc and I will make sure that this arc is within the, the parallelogram. Now take note of how I'm doing things. I'm making sure that whenever I'm constructing anything, it's bold enough. So it's within, so that's the locus of points. Now let's take note of this third one. They're saying the locus of points which are equidistant from BC and CD. So now these are two lines. So the two lines that are, that are being spoken of are here. So we have BC. And then we also have uh, CD, CD. So now here, this locus of points that are that is under consideration is actually when you're dealing with two lines, you need to know it's a, an angle bisector. So you check for the common angle here. So it's a C. We have a C there. So we are actually bisecting angle C. So where is angle C? Angle C is here. Yes. So that's angle C. What we need to do is you open your pair of compasses to any dimension, and then you plant it, you plant the sharp point here at the corner here or at this vertex, and then you strike a faint arc from this edge to that edge. After you've done that, the next thing is you plant your pair of compasses here. You shift it, you plant it there. Then you strike an arc, another arc. Then you shift your pair of compasses and then you plant it there. 
you strike another uh, without changing the dimensions. Okay, let me plant it here so that I strike this arc real well. Uh, so now our goal is to make sure that those two arcs drawn meet somewhere. So now they are intersecting at this point. So we are now going to draw a line which is running from this vertex here through the intersection point of the axe. And we'll make sure that we extend this line all the way to this uh, edge. So we draw a line. Okay, beautiful. And that line is within the parallelogram. So now we get back to our instructions. We are done with all these. All that we remain with is the last part. And the same, a point Z within parallelogram ABCD is such that it is less than or equal to 3 centimeters. Now, the locus of points that we had drawn, which is equal to or less than, is actually this one. Because these lines are 3 centimeters away from AB. So we know that part will be somewhere here, but we don't know exactly where it will be. Let's read on less than or equal to six centimeters from C. Less than or equal to six centimeters from C. So now we know that part won't be here because the locus of points which is equal to six centimeters over from C is this part here. That's the one that we had drawn. It's part of the circle, but we didn't finish it because there's an instruction that everything we draw should be within the parallelogram. So we know that part won't be in this region, but it will be somewhere in this region. But we don't know. Is it this side or that? Let's read it. Okay, so six centimeters from C and nearer to CD than BC. Okay, so nearer to CD than BC. So definitely, this is not the region, but this region. Because okay, so another saying, indicate clearly by shading the region in which Z must lie. So we are shading this region. Okay, so now we can indicate that this is Z. But always remember to indicate all the... And then we are done with the question. So we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight marks in your pocket. You see how easy it is to pass mathematics? You need to know this. Okay, so now let me indicate the angles. So here they were saying angle B is 70. So it's B. B is here. So we can indicate to say this is angle 70 degrees. How about this other angle which we had drawn here? Angle A is 110. So I'm going to indicate all this right here. Oh my, my, my. So that's angle 110 degrees. So friends, this is how you go about construction. If you've learned one or two things and uh, you've liked the way work is coming out, I urge you to go ahead and uh, like the video. Drop a comment in the comment section. And then don't forget to, to follow my page or simply subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your friend and your brother, Doc Mountain.